Whether you're an equipment operator or a pedestrian, no matter where on the terminal you work, you must be alert at all times. When you do the same job over and over, it becomes routine and you may become complacent and forget to focus on performing the task safely. This behavior can put you and others at risk. Don't let this happen to you. The incident you were about to see actually happened and resulted in the death of a longshore worker. Stan, a top loader operator, and Tina, a new clerk on the job, are working in the yard stacking containers. Stan and Tina have radio communications for every move. Stan backs out of the stack after placing a container onto the stack. Tina has her back to the top loader as she refers to her clipboard. Therefore, she's not aware she is in the danger zone of the top loader. The top loader strikes and backs over Tina, killing her instantly. How did this happen? First, Stan did not keep track of Tina and her whereabouts. And Tina did not keep Stan and the top loader itself in her view. Stan didn't know where Tina was at all times. He should not have begun backing until he was sure Tina was in a safe area. Keep in mind, there could be blind spots when maneuvering most types of cargo handling equipment. Be aware of other workers who you know are in the area before making any moves with your equipment. The danger zone is any place where you can get hurt between two moving pieces of equipment, between a moving piece of equipment and a stationary object, or by the equipment itself. In this case, the danger zone is between the top loader and the clerk. Tina failed to stay out of the danger zone. Stan failed to make sure Tina was out of the danger zone before he moved the machine. Tina was not scanning her environment to stay aware of her surroundings. She did not look and listen for the top loader that was operating in her vicinity. Tina and Stan did not clearly communicate with each other to ensure safe work operations. While the backup warning device was working, it did not alert Tina that the equipment was moving. This noise is so common on terminals that it becomes part of the background noise and workers become complacent and tune out. If you were a pedestrian, keep the equipment and if possible, the operator in view. Be sure you are aware of the position and movement of equipment around you. Think where the equipment could move next. Always stay out of the danger zone. Never turn your back on the equipment. Finally, do not walk on the terminal unless your job function or task absolutely requires it. If you are an equipment operator, keep pedestrians in view. Be sure they see you and stay out of the danger zone. In particular, if you are working with a pedestrian, communicate what movements you're going to make with your equipment. When backing, be sure the backup warning device works and back up smoothly and safely. Always keep your next move in mind. If you were the operator, how could you have prevented this incident? If you were an operator, you should Ensure all alarms and warning devices function properly. Keep track of pedestrians and their whereabouts. Be aware of blind spots. Stay aware of your surroundings. Constantly communicate. Scan and focus. Keep your next move in mind. If you were the pedestrian, how could you have prevented this incident? If you were the pedestrian, you should Keep the operator in view. Never turn your back on the equipment. Stay out of the danger zone. Stay aware of your surroundings. Be alert to backup warning devices. Keep the next equipment move in mind. Do not walk on the terminal unless your job requires it. Stan and Tina are no different from you. 
This type of incident can happen anywhere there are pedestrians and equipment operators working near each other. Stay safe and stay alive. Always communicate. Keep an eye on each other. Keep out of the danger zone and be aware of your surroundings.